Hi guys, welcome back to Blueprint Gaming. I am Jay, and we're continuing here with Transport Fever 2, our Mega City Challenge. I don't know if that's a real challenge, but that's what I'm calling this series. Anyways, um, yeah. So I looked over quite a few different things. Obviously, some time has definitely passed off uh, for me to have my loan down to two million and uh, have a little extra money saved up. You know, some time has run off. I've even freezed the the years going through because it was a lot. All right. So, anyways. This line is not consistently making me profit. You can see we'll have a negative year and then usually followed by two profitable years and then a negative year. It may just be the rotations of these trains uh, causing that, but uh, let's get a quick look, recap everything before we start getting into something new here, um, which I'm already nervous about because uh, hard difficulty, well, it is hard. I can only imagine what very hard feels like, which, you know what? I may take that challenge someday. Anyways. Uh, so, so far you can see all lines so far, they're profitable. Unfortunately, because of how expensive the train line is, we definitely need the train line profit, uh, to make a positive income. These, these, uh, uh, road lines themselves are not profitable enough to make up any of the, uh, the deficit that we have, uh, either with our loans or just infrastructure. So, uh, yeah, that one's going not, not, not too bad going. It's going nicely. So we look at the rates. We do can see now that the grain is bringing over about 117. So that's not bad. We do know that's capable of 200. Uh, this line with the trains is setting over a rate of 57, which it has to be two to one. That kind of is two to one currently. Uh, and there's just a little bit extra, which now we now have an actual extra on the train platform. Unfortunately, if we add a third train, we just be, we'd be, uh, having more money going out than coming in with that third train. So it's not worth adding a third train, even though we could actually get a third train full load, we just wouldn't be able to get it consistently. And then we'd just be in the hole. So no point in doing that, just leaving that be. And then, uh, trying to balance the inner city loop to make sure it matches the train. Uh, they're off by five, but I've tried to balance this. If I have one less. Then this is below 57 and then everything just stores up here. So, um, I mean, I guess I could have got away with doing that, uh, but it, they're on there now. So we're going to leave it be. So this, yeah, so they will empty out the platform because their rate is higher than the train rate. This is what it is anyways. So what are we going to do next? Well, next, I think we're going to try this again, right? We, we, in the very first episode, we tried to start the infrastructure of the machinery. We tried to get that going in, uh, our plant closed and funny enough where the plant closes now a farm uh, that spawned uh, well, during off camera hours. And uh, yeah, so we're going to try to get this machinery going. I don't want to get a passenger route going uh, because the only route that we may make a profit on uh, train wise is going from Torrance to Knoxville because Knoxville has the second highest population behind uh, Torrance. But once again, we could always deliver goods to a town to have its population boost. Uh, wrong thing, not what I wanted. It's like the city ones. You can see the, uh, this can you simply look at it real quick to see the town population, uh, as Knoxville has the next highest population next to Torrance. Uh, we definitely don't want passenger lines to Athens, Pasadena or Tulsa at all, as they'll just be losses. And I really don't want to do passenger lines until we can get at least the general engine or, and if not to longer. So we're going to try to set up the next good chains for machinery again. Fingers crossed, nothing closes on us. So what have I picked out? Well, what I've picked out is one, um, this this forest here, um, we're gonna go to this sawmill. We do have another option of this sawmill, but we are picking uh, this one over here and there's a reason for it. So if we go to um, our con contour lines, which will tell us the elevation of where everything is. So if we look at the, the logs, right? It's at 11 meters, 11 meters above sea level. So if we come over here to this one where we can deliver, it is 53 meters above sea level. That is a big hill climb. Um, for early engines, it's probably not a very smart idea, which is something that, I, that I'm running into a lot when I'm trying to come up with lines that I want to run. Uh, elevation seems to be a big problem. So anyways, once again, going back here, this is 11. So if we look over th at this one over here, this elevation is 6.8, which means it's over that course of distance, it's going to be somewhat flat. And that's kind of what we want. So that's where we're going to hook up uh, those two lines. So let's get that started. Uh, we do have this oil well in the middle. We do have to somehow go around it. 
Um, and that's going to be the probably the most interesting thing. <laughs> Trying to go around it. I am going to build on this side, and then we're going to have to curve out and then back over. And we'll probably have our depot on this side of the forest, or, or uh, what do they want to call it? Sawmill. All right, so let's get it going. Let's get the buildings. Uh, I am going to pause because once again, uh, as we build things, it's going to cost us money. So just pausing to not have extra income going out is probably the smartest idea that anyone can do playing in this game. All right, let's did it actually just come flat. Uh, nope, almost though. All right, boom, put you down right there. Cool. And then the log camp, ah, cameras. All right, and you, we're going to have to delete some roads. And get a cargo station. Um, see if I can find a flat piece of area. Which is right there is going to be it. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, we're going to leave it like that. I'm not going to fiddle with that one too much because it's not really a flat line. All right. So first things first. Ooh, this one's going to be tricky. This one's going to be real tricky. All right. Um, it's, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I can't really, I don't really know how to explain why it's tricky, but you're going to see here uh, once I get this up and going. All right. So we're going to be going out. There, we need to go around this hill. We're gonna try to work with the with the map. We know it's not that far. All right, so you let's put you like that, and then let's come this way. And are, what, are you hooked up to anything? No. All right, you can be deleted. Delete you. I kind of wish there was an option to like have no roads uh, when you first start because like I'd be pretty cool if you just had towns and you had to like uh, set up all the road connections yourself. I think that would be pretty cool to do in this game. Anyway, sorry. So what I want to do here, there's a reason why I, I want to do this real quick. Let's get something straight. Keep you flat. Um, all right. Oh, actually, I don't need to be a 95 is good. All right, and there's a reason why that one because I want this second line to hook up to my train tracks here because yeah, that's what I want. So like that. All right, not bad. Cost is still quite a bit, but uh, we do need to move mainly because we've done seen one plant close on us, which is weird because I am I like I said in, in the test playthrough I did did not have that happen to me at all, and to have it happen to me here is, it was pretty weird. But hey. Kind of is what it is. All right, and then we want to double track this. Um, unfortunately, I curved this one probably a little bit too soon. So if I expand it in the future, I'm going to have to expand it backwards. All right, but not bad. All right, let's get our signals down. And. We're going to set this up for two trains. We may do more than that, but I honestly, what I really need to do is, uh, I mean, the more lines I get going and get them active, the more money I'll make uh, year over year, which is a great thing because I can get my, I can get more lines up and up and running faster. And I'm hoping that's what we can do here. Get this up and running, help with this combined with this makes me more of a profit faster. We can turn this in. Um, and if I can get these, if I can get these planks to any tool, like any machinery factory, right? That's guaranteed that this plant and this plant won't close on me right now with this setup, it's guaranteeing that this plant won't close, but, uh, this one could, but as soon as I hook it up to this one, then this can't close, but this still could, I know it's complicated. Um, but then at least I have two and I can always just delete the third. And once we, like I said, if that happens, not the end of the world, we'll still come in. We'll still, you know, bring in the dough. All right, and then we need uh, one in the kind of in the middle. We're going to call this the middle. And I'm not too excited that that's elevated like that, but hey, uh, we can terraform later and then you won't know the difference. 
All right, so now we want to bring a train into the logs, and then we think probably somewhere off here would be the best. Oh, uh, come on. There we go. I don't know why every now and again it does that. All right, buildings. There we go. And that's fine. We'll put down more signals if we get more trains on this line. And we're going to, I think immediately we're going to start off with just two. We're going to borrow. Uh, we need about 3,000 to get two trains. Easy peasy. Five vehicles. Uh, add the Baldwin. And we need four logs. I think we need the flat car. Yes, we do. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, yeah, we're going to keep it that five. And two of them. And why is that cheap? Hold on, is it the price? 33. Same price. Why is it cheaper? I'm confused why it's cheaper. Am I doing something wrong here? Oh, no. No, it's, it's five. Right? Sorry, guys. Okay, I, I remember them being like exactly 3,000. Yeah, it's 35. Why am I thinking it's something different than that? We know what we didn't do. We didn't set the line. Let me set the line first. Throw on logs to sawmill. Let's go ahead and name it. Uh, and we need appropriate color. The log color brown. Wow, my colors are not very not not very exciting. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. So apparently that is what it is. Let's get it going here. Uh, logs, thirty five. We just want to make sure you guys, even if it is uphill downhill, you're making plenty of speed. You know, I feel like I could do. I feel like I could do forty two. You know what? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Two go. All right, now let's unpause this and log should automatically start generating on the platform unless I mess something up, which I don't think I did. Oh, I guess it would happen if I put them on a line. All right, now log should go on the platform. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, never move on to you verify that your that your uh, what you set up is working. All right, and as soon as this train goes into the platform, the next one will go. Uh, matter of fact, let's uh, let's zoom in here. Uh, uh, let's go on slow speed. Uh, let's admire the train. We got plenty of time in this stream, and I'm not gonna be stream <laughs> on this video. And I'm, it's not like I'm gonna build another train or get anything else really done this episode because I'm not gonna be raking in any cash. A uh, little bit of an uphill climb out of the depot, but it's fine. Uh, nothing that the trains can't overcome. Uh, you play it in slower speed, you can definitely see more detail um, of things around. It doesn't, it's not as blurry or grainy when you're going, when you're going at fast speed, this stuff can get really blurry and, and grainy. Uh, actually, it's a little bit of a downhill slope, but that's fine. We're, uh, we're going empty. All right, let's speed it up. Oof. <laughs> Big difference of speed. All right, trains passing each other. go see if we'll get a full load here we should be getting a full load so let's actually um you know we're gonna follow this train and then we'll take a look at it um what our, what our rate of delivery is how much is it actually producing how much can the sawmill actually take we'll take a look at all that stuff i don't think we've looked at a log one yet um and this train's probably waiting for the other train to get past the halfway point where the signal is before it goes i could put down more signals to to keep this going but eventually they'll spread out to what's it's a non-issue and like i said i'm trying to keep my cost low uh you know the signals are only 25 dollars each well when i put a set down it's 50. uh that stuff does add up right it does add up so the more sparingly i can use it right now the better um, eventually we'll get better trains and be able to carry more uh capacity and then you know and then it then it then it doesn't matter right we, we can just spam them everywhere it's not gonna 50 bucks is not gonna make a difference all right. Mm -hmm. 
I just love the scenery. It really, it really is. If I could, I mean, I'll probably do some one-time speed stuff in the future. Uh, but right now, uh, we definitely got a lot going on in the early process. All right, so we made the whole way through. All right, let's take a better look at everything. So first off, logs. Uh, looks like we can produce 400 of these. Uh, and it looks like it's going to take 400. So if we look over here, two logs to make uh, one planks. And yeah, it takes and it can make 200. So it can take uh, this entire uh, forest. Uh, everything it can produce. I'm trying to come up with a name. I can't come up with a good name for it. Everything it can produce, it can take. So it means that these trains could, we could crank them up to a, a capacity or rate, I should say, of, of 400. So what are, what is the rate currently? I'll make this a little bigger. The rate currently for the logs is 104. So we're only going approximately one fourth of what we could do. So we could definitely put a lot more trains on this route, which is something that I probably would want to do um, before trying to expand even more to, uh, because if I do, if I can make this about the most use out of this as I can, it does cut down uh, on like the cost per train um, or expense per train, I should say, uh, which allows the, that overall line to even make even more money. Um, so if I put two more down right now, like example for 72,000, right? I wouldn't make 144,000 with two more trains, right? I'd make even more than that because the expense has been cut down um, as I didn't add any more track or I might, I'll definitely have to add some more signals, but 50 bucks is not going to make a big difference. Um, so I want to put more signals down um, to separate this, to, to, you know, chop this off a little bit more and then we can add more trains. I do want to see what kind of income we get per cycle. All right. We made the investment there. So we'll know exactly how much our investment is after this is over. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want to make this as profitable as we can before we try to take this or we try to build a line to here, right? Right from here, uh, to here is what we're going to do a oh, Knoxville farm. Where did that come from? It's gotta be somewhere near an ox or no, that's not Knoxville. Knoxville's up here. All right. Uh, like I said, we might end up seeing a bug later if they haven't fixed it yet, um, with industries spawning, but so far that's been a non-issue. Uh, but we'll see when the map gets a little bit more crowded. All right. So anyways, uh, first off, what are we getting ourselves into? If we want to go from here, which is at approximately, all right, 6.8 meters above sea level and to up here, which is, uh, actually it's pretty flat. Is, can I actually make that pretty flat? Oh yes. All right. So if I go here, break this off, climb up this way through here, this entire valley. Yeah. Just follow this entire contour path and then come and just hook into here. Yeah. Wow. Loving that. Loving that a lot. All right. Do not close on me. Absolutely. Do not close on me until I can at least get four trains on this line. I think that's my goal to get four trains on this line and then expand. Uh, I could easily get the trains right now, which we might do. Um, since I can just take, I can just borrow the cash, right? We have only borrowed uh, 4.5. So mean so far since the start of the game, we are actually uh, netting a positive on hard mode. Uh, it doesn't look like it right now <laughs> because um, of our expenses and we're, our totals in the negative. But the fact is we still have trains and everything that we could cash out for cash, which would put us over um, the original 5,000 we started with. So that's all great stuff. Great stuff. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow another three. Well, first off, we're going to get more signals down. Let's get signals down first. And let's see. Go right here. there and let's put a set right here all right so that gives me one block two block three block four block five block going the opposite way is 10 that should be more than enough for four trains all right let's borrow the three million and vehicles and clone all right. Uh, it's going to put me a little bit in the hole, but uh, once again, in between episodes, we're definitely gonna let some time run off. Uh, the other thing that we have to deal with is vehicles, uh, aging on us. Uh, so a lot of these lines, I'm pretty sure if I look at a vehicles, uh, they're in very bad condition. 
Uh, we can make these guys better, but we're gonna wait for a little bit. I don't know what all very bad um, entails. I don't know if it actually costs you more in maintenance. Uh, that stuff I'm a little uh, shaky about. I know one thing that it does do, which is a non-factor to us currently, probably except for these guys, is that they do cause more pollution if they have very bad, if they're in very bad condition. And so if they if they're going around like where there's residential stuff like that, you're gonna want to uh, keep them very well maintained, uh, so they they per emit the lowest amount of pollution possible. So we haven't really looked into pollution yet. Uh, do, 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 there we go. Emissions, I guess they call it emissions. I call it pollution. They call it emissions. So you can see anywhere my lines are, you guys you can see. Uh, but over here is the residential, and you can see that we are pretty much. Uh, none of the emissions reach the residential. So this should have, if we look at uh, Terrence, um, when we look at, uh, there we go, quality, where it has the, the, the emissions, uh, pollution, whatever you want to call it, uh, currently is 0% affecting its growth. Um, that's ideally what you want. You want to try to avoid uh, having anything going in your residential. It's going to be unavoidable at some point, which I'll cross that bridge when we get there and talk about a little more, but... Uh, right now, you can see I'm having the, the best amount of growth that I possibly could have at this current moment uh, because I'm not negatively affecting any of the residents. Even though there's a resident right there that should really get... Uh, now, if I had extra cash, I'd just demolish that and hopefully that it rebuilds over here because this is where I want my residential. Uh, but one building being affected is not going to cause any big issues. But yeah, you can see the entire train line. You can see the, how it layers out, what it affects. Um, they make a lot of noise. Um, then you have your route here. You can obviously see they don't affect as much, but uh, very bad conditions are really red. So uh, you guys will probably see me do something here soon. And you can see them going back and forth. So let's go down here to these guys real quick. Um, can I get this stuff? I think I can keep it this way. Right, let's go here. Manage vehicle. Uh, nope. All right. Let's go ahead and let's turn you guys' maintenance up to very high. Hit apply. It's going to cost me a lot, but we're going to watch their condition drop from very bad uh, to very good. We're going to see what happens to this emission lines here. Does it get better? Or does it get worse? Uh, well, I know it's definitely going to get worse, but let's see how, let's see how better it gets. If I can switch them from very bad to very good. Uh, and this line won't cost me that much to do this. Uh, trains are very expensive when you do this to trains. Um, uh, but like I said, I don't have any trains going through residential. Um, I probably need like a good time lapse <laughs> to see if this really makes a big difference. I'm not really seeing much of a difference. We're down to bad. Uh, we should be moving to what's the bad? Let's go to good from bad. I might go to good. Uh, we are at 30% condition. Yeah, it looks like the dark, it looks like the really dark red lines going away. Um, train just came through. So I see the line expanding for the train. Mediocre. It's all mediocre. Yeah, the, the really dark pink line is going away. Like I said, this is not really affecting anything. I said, the only thing that it could be affecting, maybe I'm not aware of, is maybe maintenance, like just everyday maintenance cost. But I'm not sure that's a thing. Uh, as far as I know, it's just emissions. Um, anyway, watching out there knows more, and you know it's a fact. Please don't put something in the comment section that you don't even know if it's a fact, because that can really mess, <laughs> it can really mess someone up. Uh, that's someone being me in this like, scenario. Uh, but if you know for a fact that it does affect something else other than emissions, please let me know. Um, as I would, you know, I, I love knowing as much about the game as possible. Uh, let's see. For some reason, Torrance is not getting enough bread. Interesting. Why did that just go down? I will leave it be. Uh, we're good. Yeah, you see the dark, the dark red went away. Um, the, the, the second layer of pink is starting to get smaller, but I'm not seeing a big difference. We're up to very good, um, 89 condition. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't really say, I don't know how important this is. I just thought we'd do some experimenting while we have some extra time in this episode. Uh, cause it's not like we're going to make a whole, <laughs> like I said, I can't, I'm not going to build anything else. However, I am able to repay some here, repay. And you got rid of my missions layer. Get it back. Get it back. Um, yeah, I mean, that line's going away. It's going pretty good. Um, make sure I keep an eye on these guys. I don't want to keep paying high maintenance costs forever. All right, right, hundred percent. Now I'm just going to get rid of it, but you can see, uh, obviously with trains, it probably play a more major role than it does there. I'm not going to do it to my trains because I just, I don't want to expend that much cash. <laughs> don't want to spend that much cash at all. 
and you can see yeah look at that look at the train lines that is awesome that's what we want to see um now we're going to we should be able to start making uh more uh more progress next let me turn his speed up to one fourth we're going to turn that on this episode but yeah so let's take a look at these lines let's take a look at them again we're going to be looking at the wood we're running at 210 which we're kind of at like half capacity uh, I could probably comfortably put two more trains on here. Um, I think I have enough blocked out signals that I think two more would be able to get the job done. Um, my question is, is can they get in and out of the platforms fast enough before the next group comes, which there's also another way to get around that, um, where I can just add more, uh, deep, uh, dig depot stations. One of the cool, coolest updates, um, about this current update is that you can now uh, instead of having designated to one location, you can designate to multiple locations to drop off. Um, I don't need to do that right now because I'll be paying maintenance costs on it, but eventually we'll get there. Uh, oil well, nothing that I'm working on. Okay, that oil well is going away. Ah, no big deal there. And... Yeah, uh, that's it. That's it, guys. That's pretty much the episode on... I said not bad. I can't wait till we're able to do some terraforming. I can make this stuff look a little better than what it currently does. Uh, oh, actually, let's see. Before you before you jump into that mode, let's slow you down. Now go to the camera mode, and we can just take in the sights as we go down the line. Uh, thank you, auto save. But guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Transport Fever. Uh, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this season series so far. I it's one of my favorite games. Um, just sit back and chill. It does have a very slow start to it, um, especially if you start at 1850. It does have a very slow start, so just just beware. Um, I mean, you can try to get around the very slow start by not doing trains right away, doing all road road connections, and then eventually, once you're making a profit through road connections, then go into trains and uh, with your in, with your extra income. And uh, yeah, that's probably the more better, better way to do it if you want to keep going. But if you don't mind, like setting something up and then just letting the game run it makes make sure it's making a profit make sure it's making a profit but then just walk away for like two hours a lot to make more money then come back and build and then eventually you get to the point where you don't know you no longer need to do that stuff but you kind of really let's say let's if you go trains right away that is a really steep hill can't wait to fix that in the future um yeah just simply enough but anyways guys uh, i hope you're enjoying it hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already hit that notification bell leave a comment and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye